LaTeX, 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 LaTexy? How do you say it? I don't know. <laughs> Should we go? Should we ask ChatGPT what ChatGPT says? ChatGPT can't produce anything. I wonder. If, I wonder if I can make ChatGPT like actually pronounce it. Should we try it? I'm gonna try it right now. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it right now. Uh, how do you pronounce LaTeX? Everybody fights over this. The pronunciation for LaTeX is LaTeX. <laughs> well, that was wrong. I know that's wrong. Uh, it, Ten seconds in, is it? Is it really? I who who's that person? So okay, so LaTeX is pronounced LaTeX, LaTeX, or LaTeX. Knuth pronounces it LaTeX. Knuth himself pronounces it as LaTeX. Oh well, there you go. Knuth is the guy who made it, Mr. Donald Knuth. Um, why do you care about this technology? You're definitely going to hear about it over time. So this video is not to get you going on this. It's just to help you not sound like you don't know what you're talking about. It's to take you to level one knowledge in, on, on our 10-point scale. Um, that means you know what it is. You don't maybe not used it. You maybe don't need to use it, but you need to know what it is. Um, so a lot of tech is this tech. Actually, let's ask ChatGPT again. I, I like this. This is fun. Uh, what is LaTeX? I'm going to read it from, see how well, I want to see how well ChatGPT does. Uh, LaTeX is a high quality typesetting system. You guys know what typesetting is? Remember, typesetting, think of, think of like an old medieval guy with like lead, you know, on, on like a, a thing and they're setting, you know, lead type, you know, they're setting fonts, like individual character fonts and they're, they're putting leading in between uh, each of the letters so that they have spacing. You know, it's like it's something that you know, people like me like really like, actually. I really love typesetting. I think I, I would love to get myself like an actual old school press and, and do typesetting. I just think it's really good. That's what typesetting is. So typesetters used to be paid to like make these single pages and they would like, it's really, really cool stuff, right? It's almost like blacksmithing, but for like books, book bindings and bookmaking, something like that. So that's what typesetting is. Um, so let's take is a high quality type selling system. In other words, this digital typesetting system uh, that includes features designed for the production of technical and scientific documentation. And that's what makes it special. It's a programming language used primarily for writing documents in fields such as mathematics, physics, computer science, and economics, engineering, and has allowed complex mathematical equations, algorithms, symbols. LaTeX is also used for typesetting articles, books, and other publications. In fact, LaTeX is the standard in the academic world for producing textbooks pretty much um and there's been a you know there's been a lot of different approaches that come to law tech um this video is is linked to the video about markdown because you know one of the things when i uh, when i thought about how to pot potentially reinvent uh the world wide web uh which i absolutely tried uh something called the knowledge exchange grid you know the question kept coming up if you wanted to have a unified uh, method or syntax for all knowledge, um, what are, what types of knowledge would you have to be able to convey? Um, obviously text is the big one, right? But then if you think, um, yeah, tech was originally the art, uh, the type set of the art of computer programming. Yeah. I thank you for that, Ronnie. Yeah. So, you know, the, the other piece of this is inevitably you're going to ask yourself, how do I make a diagram that's reproducible that I can represent as text? Right? How do I make a anything? How do I make a very complicated uh, mathematical equation? Um, and you know, how, we we did another video on scalable vector graphics versus uh, rasterized images, which is you know little dots versus instructions. And LaTeX is in the instructions category. In fact, I I'm going to go ahead and ask ChatGPT, uh, what is the relationship between uh, LaTeX and PDF or PostScript. PostScript was the instruction set language created to tell mostly laser printers how to draw our documents in a way that was, you know, consistent and typeset down to the, you know, the individual DPI. Uh, LaTeX is a typesetting system, blah. PDF and PostScript are both file formats that can be used to save and view documents. They are designed to present documents. So that's the relationship. 
when you prepare a document using LaTeX, you can convert or compile that document into a PDF or PostScript file. This is typically done so that the document can be easily shared or published. The PDF or PostScript file will maintain the same formatting appearance. In other words, the use of LaTeX to create and format your document, and then you can use PDF or PostScript to share the document. All right, so that would seem to me that there is no relationship. Um, that LaTeX is its own instruction set about how things should be viewed and seen, and uh, PostScript and PDF, which is built on top of PostScript um, by the Adobe company, of course, and originally Apple, are instructions specifically for how to draw that thing on the printer or on the screen. Um, and yes, I am. And so PDF is an, a uh, PDF is an evaluated PS file to prevent arbitrary code execution within the, within a file. Okay. Right. So, so this becomes, that's the extent of it. Now, why do you care? And what does this have to do with Markdown? Well, if you're trying to do mathematical symbols and by that, I mean, um, so let's, let's see if we can show you here, uh, math examples, uh, examples using a lot of tech. Okay. So, um, I'm trying to see, here's an example for you. Um, here's a random hit, uh, from a math department. Math departments live for law tech. Um, as you can see here, um, oops, here we go. So here we can see that the dollar sign inline, we didn't do, we talked about inline formatting before. Uh, we see that the dollar sign inline formatting is there's a language for representing um, this typeset equation ax to the second plus b to the x uh, and plus b times x uh, plus c equals zero. And you can see how they get represented. Um, you can see that there are limits. Look at here's a here's some LaTeX code down here for limits. And you I mean it goes without saying that you cannot have uh, you know a method of knowledge exchange and knowledge sharing without LaTeX. It does make me wonder, quite frankly, why LaTeX was not included in the original design coming from CERN, of all places. Um, you know, and here we go. Here's an actual block. Uh, this is a LaTeX block. Notice it has two dollar signs. Okay. So the double dollar sign. So the reason that this is related to Markdown is because LaTeX has been added to every major version of Markdown that is supported on the in, in interwebs right now, uh, which I actually think is tremendously uh, huge news. Uh, that includes GitHub Flavor Markdown. Um, and while it's true that it's not all of LaTeX, and we'll get there, it's generally true to say that LaTeX is now the industry standard for sharing mathematical equations, period. And if you are doing anything in math, and that includes machine learning, um, you must learn it at some point. And I have a fun story about this. So I, 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 I don't know a lot of tech very well. I have to go look it up if I ever want to do any of this. I don't do a lot of mathematical writing, even though I have like 300 level calculus in college. Um, and I, I was sharing LaTeX and 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 um, specifically KTEX and MathJax, uh, which are all related. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that later. But I shared it with somebody that I was mentoring, and um, quite a quite a brilliant kid at the time. And um, he must have been thirteen. And I mean, this this is the kind of guy who got sent. This is no no kidding. He that, this is a separate story. But he got he got sent to the principal's office for using the Linux terminal. Uh, through SSH into Skillstack so he could do some of his projects because he was bored during his other class. And somebody saw him with a terminal open on his Mac and they reported him for hacking. His teacher didn't know what he was doing, sent him to the principals, and he had to sit there and justify to the principal that he was not hacking anything. <laughs> That's a true story. That actually happened. Um, so this same guy um, was taking notes in his math class, in his math and chemistry class in LaTeX, and one time I was like, I looked over his shoulder because I, I taught him Markdown and some of that stuff and exposed him to it and I exposed him to Pandoc, which is, which is what all the, you know, invented by a Berkeley professor for, for writing all this crazy, amazing stuff. And, and so, so then, you know, I, I was like, what, 
you know, he was like, oh, look here. he was just like randomly working on his stuff. He wasn't even really showing it to me. And I looked over his phone and go, what the hell is that? And he's like, oh, that's my notes. So I'm like, what? And he, he had been taking his notes in Markdown and LaTeX for school. And he basically wrote his own textbook. I mean, it was the quality of the typesetting of his Markdown page. Um, you know, you, you, it's, it's particularly impressive when it's like these, 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 these big sections like this, you know, because it's these like big monstrous equations. And he, he, he was so bored in his class that he decided to learn LaTeX. This is in like junior high and he is in LaTeX. And so he, he learned it and then he started writing all of his equations and it made it more fun for him. Plus, you know, if you, if you get a thing wrong. And, and so he had, he had basically typeset his, all of his notes using LaTeX and, and Markdown. And I was just so impressed. I was like, his teachers must have hated him. <laughs> because he was literally producing textbooks. They have no idea what Markdown even is. Um, and, you know, I'm just, I just love that story because, I mean, it was just so intense. So like matrices and things like this, you know. Um, so, I mean, if there's at least one person out there who has a little bit more fun taking notes, know who hears about LaTeX. You know, and MathJax and KTech, and and then you know maybe maybe something good will come from this video. I'm not going to teach you how to do it because I don't know how to do it. Never done it. I, I always have to look it up every time I want to do it. Um, and quite frankly, you don't need it, right? The only time you need it is if you need math, and that brings us to the next topic: What is MathJax and what are LaTeX, uh, and what does it have to do? So, what is uh, KTech? Let's talk about that one first. Uh, Kotech, I guess, is a script for typesetting math and web browser developed by Khan Academy. It is designed to write our mathematical notation in a fast and easy learning format. Unlike other scripts, Kotech doesn't require a web browser's machine to do anything. It renders equations server side. So Kotech uh, is a form of LaTeX. Uh, uh, yeah, you can do pretty much anything with LaTeX. Um, it was invented by Donald Knuth, I'm pretty sure. Um, to to do his first uh, book and he wrote his own language to make the book um, and you can use LaTeX for presentations you can do it for all kinds of different things uh, there is one other thing and and that is MathJax now MathJax is a open source JavaScript display engine that produces high quality mathematical typesetting uh, in a web browser it uses um, web based fonts SVG and HTML uh, to display mathematical symbols and equations, MathJax is comparable to screen readers for accessibility. Blah. So MathJax actually supports Kotech or whatever, and but the difference is is that MathJax is in the client, right? So um, when we use, we're going to learn. Uh, I'll probably do an extra video on how to use MakeDocs, which is what I use um, for Skillstack. Let me show you. Uh, so MakeDocs is the is the tool that I use um, to take this markdown and I use this Python markdown and converts it into um, you know what 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 you see here. So so here's here's the documentation. Um, what does this have to do with with uh, LaTeX? Well, I've actually added in the material theme um, the support for I think MathJax. Maybe I didn't. Oh, I didn't add it to this one. No, I didn't. Okay. I don't have it in mind. I take it all back. Um, but you can. You can add. You can add. The point is, is you can add support for MathJax, which is a JavaScript library, which will render the equations in the web browser, right? And any of that stuff can then be saved as a PDF and printed. Um, the difference is that that's the, I think Kotech or whatever is server side, and LaTeX, of course, requires all a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, if you know Linux, and we'll talk about this later. Uh, if you know about man pages, so man ls, um, this is using PostScript, but there um, there are forms of man pages that can be created using LaTeX as well. So LaTeX is generally considered to have a pretty steep learning curve. Uh, it's not for everybody, and um, MathJax, which is mostly just the math part of LaTeX, allows LaTeX to be included in Markdown. And so the last thing we have to cover is how to put it into your markdown. Um, and that the only thing you need to know there is quite simply, um, if your platform supports it, you want to use two dollar signs um, in it, your own code block, right? Uh, actually let's let's see let's see let's let's try this. Shall we try this? Let's try this. Let's try it. it's always more fun to experiment. So where 
is my stuff. I'm trying to find it. Oh, it's over here, over here, right? All right, let's go make a, let's make a test. I just kind of want to see it. Let's try it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's add a new file, create a new file. Let's call it MD latech.md um this is uh some latech i think it's actually rendering it using using match we'll paste it in there now something i do know is pretty sure you have to put this on a separate line i don't know i don't know let's let's try it let's see what happens i, I know this works to pandoc so i don't know i've never used it with github github apparently has support for it though so let's go ahead and try um, commit changes, uh, latte and no, no, latte is displayed to the user. Okay. Yep. There we go. Check it out. Wow. Look at that. You see that? And tower is, uh, is displayed to the user. That's very cool. So there you go. Um, and, and let's go ahead and say, um, uh, and what about stuff in line? Like, and this can be something simple. Uh, is it is pi a thing? I can't remember. I don't cancel preview. Oh, yeah, pi is a thing. Um, let's actually find something better though to display. Let's find some inline stuff that's more fun. Um, again, I don't know what I'm doing, so uh, let's find a good Oh, here's a pretty one. I like this. Oh, look at this. Uh, it's square root. Look at that. For example, in square root, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So copy. And um, just as a reminder, it, what if you want to show the actual text the way they're doing it? Um, let's try this. Let's preview that. Oh, look at that. Look at that pretty, pretty, pretty thing. And so, but if, if you wanted to say uh, which is... I did a back tick here. Remember the back tick thing that says verbatim? Uh, 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 in LaTeX. Okay, so that should, there we go. So, so if you wanna see the actual source code, you see it there and you see it there. And I mean, that's pretty much it. That's pretty dang cool, don't you admit? That is so cool. So that's how you do it. That's what LaTeX is. That's what MatchX is. That's what Contact is. You're going to hear about that stuff. If you have a need for it, you can pretty much use it everywhere. The fact that you can use it on GitHub now is tremendously encouraging and exciting. Um, you can use it in Pandoc, of course. You have been in for, for a very, very long time. Um, and you can use it in MakeDocs, too. And in the world of AI, where math is, is more and more a thing, um, you know, reach for it and use it if you know how and you need to. If I were, if I were going to be doing notes again, I would definitely learn it. I don't know it, so eventually, I probably do want to learn it myself. Um, so that's it. Have fun with that.